Hi, I'm John, and I'm a product manager for Android Developer Tools. We've made some exciting progress over the past year, and we want to share what we're doing to make your lives easier as Android game developers. We've heard from many of you on your pain points for game development, and we recognized that there was significant room for improvement. You told us that you need additional ways to increase your productivity, and you need to ensure that you can tune and optimize your game. We have three new tools to help your productivity that we're excited to introduce. ADB Incremental aims to significantly improve your deploy speed. For those of you with existing cross-platform development workflows in Visual Studio, the Android game development extension allows you to continue using the tools and setup that you're familiar with to develop for Android. And we're introducing the game package registry for Unity developers to simplify the management of our Unity services. For optimization, we have some updates we want to share that allow you to inspect how your game uses GPU, CPU, and memory resources in more detail than ever before. We've heard from many of you that you wait too long for your game to deploy to your device. With Android 11, we're excited to announce ADB Incremental, a significant improvement to the ADB deploy process that results in iteration speeds that are orders of magnitude more efficient than previous versions. Available on Pixel 4 and new Android 11 devices, ADB Incremental takes advantage of changes to the file system to increase your productivity, and even offers you the ability to start your game before it finishes installing. Here are some of our results from trying this out on Unity's Megacity game demo. We went from having to wait almost a full minute to install, to seconds for a full installation, and under a second for the game to be able to be launched. Look for more information and documentation about ADB Incremental in an upcoming developer preview. For those of you working in Android Studio, we're continuing to invest in ensuring that the IDE experience remains great for C++ development for games. Please keep the feedback coming. But for those of you with complex setups that need to support multiple platforms for your games with C++, we've heard feedback that Android is more challenging than it needs to be. There are complexities involved in ensuring that your existing workflow is productive when you add Android to the mix, and switching between different IDEs is onerous. To solve that, today, we're excited to announce a developer preview of the Android game development extension, allowing you to use your existing Visual Studio workflow to create Android games. We've been working on this since last year, and we want to thank our early preview partners, such as Blizzard, EA, Ubisoft, and Epic, for taking the time to iterate with us on our journey. Once you install the extension, you can easily add Android as a target platform in your existing Visual Studio solutions in the Configuration Manager, and easily configure your project to generate an APK, with the extension adding all the necessary boilerplate files. Once you've done so, you can build and deploy the Android version of your game from Visual Studio to physical devices or an emulator. You'll have access to full IntelliSense support for your C++ code. And with the extension, we also feature a fast and reliable debugging experience based on LLDB. The extension is compatible with existing build tools many of you use, such as Incredibuild, so you can continue to take advantage of your concurrent infrastructure to ensure that your build times are as fast as possible. This, combined with the new ADB, means that you can be more productive when iterating on changes in your game. Currently, we work best with custom engines that are using C++, and we're collaborating with Epic on adding Unreal support in the future. If you're interested in being an early adopter and giving us feedback, apply for access at the URL on the screen. If you're a Unity developer, you're probably familiar with Unity's Package Manager, which helps you manage modular components while developing a game. Today, we're launching the Game Package Registry for Unity. By connecting the Unity Package Manager to our registry, you'll be able to access a variety of Google Author packages, such as Play Billing, Android App Bundles, Play Asset Delivery, Play Instant, and Firebase. And just like with Unity Author packages, versioning, updates, and dependencies are handled seamlessly in the Package Manager. Head to the URL on the screen to try it now. Turning now to optimization, we've made some significant improvements to our existing suite of Android Studio profilers that are all available today in the Android Studio 4.1 Canary. 
we have two options for CPU profiling in Android Studio. One is our existing sampled CPU profiler for comparing relative timing data for how your code is being executed. For granular timing across the entire system, you'll want to use our revamped Android Studio system trace. With system trace, you can see detailed CPU core activity and thread scheduling across all cores. You can inspect the timing of events that are instrumented by the system and that you instrument yourself via Android's native tracing API. We've also added native memory profiling capabilities to allow you to record how your game is allocating memory for devices running Android 10 or later. You can now see how many objects are being allocated and deallocated during a particular time period to check for possible memory leaks. All of these enhancements are available today to try out in the latest Android Studio 4.1 Canary. We still have plenty of features to implement, so we'd love to hear your early feedback. Finally, we've heard your feedback that optimizing graphics on Android is difficult. The GPU is often a black box, and different GPU vendors require different tools to gain any insights. To solve this, today we're announcing a developer preview of the Android GPU Inspector. Now you have a single tool that works across both Qualcomm and ARM GPUs and provides insights into how your game is using GPU resources and areas for optimization. You'll be able to uncover deeper graphics insights that were never handily available for you before, such as GPU counters. And when using Vulkan, you'll get GPU activity and timing data. Currently, the tool supports Pixel 4, 4XL, and the Galaxy Note 10 and S10, and we'll be expanding our device coverage over time. If you're interested in trying it out, apply for access for the preview at the URL on the screen. So that's a quick overview of some of the new tools we have to help you develop games more easily and efficiently. We're excited to hear your thoughts. For links to all of our tools, as well as additional guidance and resources on game development with Android, check out d.android.com slash games.